I'm going to show you a simple example of how to use Dynamics GP to manage supply and demand from multiple sites within GP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three separate sales forecasts for three separate site IDs and we are going to see how the MRP system can be used to generate separate demand for those different site IDs. The first thing I want to do is look at my sales forecasts. So I'm going to go up to transactions, look at my sales forecasts and you can see that I've got three of them. Here's the first one. I've got my finished good item here. It's assigned to this warehouse north, which is important. You have to assign a warehouse to it. And then here's the second one assigned to south and the third to warehouse. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to combine these into one sales forecast. I'm going to keep three separate sales forecasts and then tell MRP to look at these three separate forecasts. So to do that, I'm going to go to the go to window up here and forecasting selections. You can see that I have three separate forecasts here that MRP is going to use to calculate the supply and look at the demand. So let's run that now. I'm going to go to transactions, manufacturing, MRP, and regeneration. I'm going to process that. So let's take a look at the results. The first thing I'm going to do is look at my suggested MOs. I'm going to inquiry MRP. I'm going to use this window here. There are a number of different windows that can be used to look at the MRP results. I'm going to use this one because I have a specific ID. And you can see my sales demand generated by the forecast here in these three lines. You can see the quantities here. The system is also suggesting two manufacturing orders, one for the north site and one for the south site. Let's take a look at this first one here. I've got an exception. I can look at that exception and it's basically telling me to get going on this. So let's pull this down into the grid here. I'm going to highlight that and go to my actions tab here and I want to create an order. It brings up this screen here. I'm going to transfer that to manufacturing order. And you can see that's going to post these goods to north. And I'm just going to save that. And from this point you just use the regular manufacturing for this. Now let's take a look at the plan POs. So here I have all the items that are planned. I'm going to select a few items to pull in the PO. It's going to select these three. You can see that I've got one item from three separate site IDs. They're going to this particular vendor. I can click on that. I can see the order details right there. I'm just going to create those POs. Hit OK. It's going to give me a quick report. Let's take a look at that PO. Here's the purchase order right here and you can see that this one item is being ordered for these three different sites to satisfy the demand that the MRP calculated. So this is just a simple example of how Dynamics GP can be used to manage demand and supply for items using the MRP system in separate site IDs.